analyzing DNA sequences. And first topic is DNA sequencing benefits and applications. DNA sequencing is the process to determine the order of nucleotide bases uh, in the genomic DNA or the segment of DNA. And it may involve uh, to know the order of nucleotide bases uh, in any gene and even the larger DNA fragments. In addition to that, it also deals uh, to know the sequence of whole chromosomes. And nowadays, uh, there are different organisms, uh, starting from prokaryotes like bacteria to higher organisms like the humans. Uh, at high rank, as I quoted the example of human, the whole genome sequence, it is now uh, known. The sequencing of DNA first time uh, accomplished in early 1970s uh, when some academic researchers were able uh, to uh, get the sequence of the DNA by using two-dimensional chromatography. Iske baad, with the passage of time, uh, jab nay techniques jo hain, DNA sequencing ke liye wo mutaraf hoi, to jo DNA sequencing ka jo data hai, ye accumulate hona shuru hua, to scientists ne is data ko uh, use kiya in, uh, within the different disciplines of the life sciences. And these disciplines, uh, they may be in the field of molecular biology, and in molecular biology, it mainly deals to know the sequence of whole genome or any uh, particular gene and the proteins that they encode. So the knowledge that is obtained from the DNA sequences, it can be used uh, to know some mutations in the gene and how these genes, they are associated uh, with particular diseases and even to phenotypes. So this was the basic use in molecular biology. Iske alawa, DNA sequencing ko use kiya gaya, uh, jo evolutionary relation jo hain, unko find out karne ke liye. Evolutionary relationship means that how microbes, they resemble or differ from each other and how they evolved during the course of evolution. Dusre al faz mein hum ye keh sakte hain, ke evolutionary biology ka jo subject hai, where if we have the idea of the sequences of a particular gene, then it can be used uh, in taxonomy. Taxonomy means that to separate organism into uh, different taxa or rank. For example, in case of microbiology, a particular segment of DNA which is called as 16S ribosomal uh, DNA. It has been used to uh, find the evolutionary uh, relationship between different groupings of microorganisms. So, in this case, the uh, DNA sequencing, it can be used to uh, find evolutionary relationship among a different grouping of organisms. In addition to that, the sequencing data it is very valuable uh, in the field of metagenomics. Sometimes, microbes, they cannot be cultivated in the laboratory by using general uh, culture media. So, under such circumstances, microbes, they are analyzed in the nat natural samples or in the environmental samples. And for this purpose, the field of uh, microbiology, you can say that which is used, it is the uh, metagenomics, where the microbial population, they are assessed within a microbiome or a particular ecological niche. So, this is another application where microbial presence in the environment, it can be evaluated by extracting the DNA from the environmental samples, then one can sequence it and then microbial diversity, it can be uh, evaluated. Then it's used in uh, medicine. It is well established, especially to elucidate the role of 
uh, some genes in genetic disorder. And we can analyze that uh, either some gene is mutated or not. If genetic order it is present and which particular sequence it is involved in this genetic or particular genetic disorder. And finally, one can also find its application uh, in the field of forensic biology, where information scientifically it can be gathered and examined, for, for instance, from some uh, crime scene. So we can analyze the biological data like blood sample if obtained from the crime scene, and then it can be uh, sequenced and and then for, further it can be examined to find trace evidence. So these are the different applications uh, of DNA sequencing, its benefits and application. As I told you that DNA sequencing was first time performed in early 1970s uh, when some scientists introduced uh, chemical methods for DNA sequencing then that were replaced by some enzymatic method and finally automated sequencing uh, was introduced and we will discuss all these methods one by one.